there hasn't been a metal frame since I don't know, like yeah, ninety six or something like that. Yeah, Impalas. Yeah. Impalas were maybe. The Is that really the last one? The last one. Uh, there were some metal like core frames from Kaiser and things like this. So what made you want to do the metal frame and and all Ballsy that? doing a metal frame? Or start your own. Or being one of the first metal frames. So, actually, I have the first prototypes here. Yeah, I like that. That's crazy looking. You guys can have a look at it later. Um, so this was coming from conversations with Dominic Wagner. And at this time, we also got the Chelsea Pier skate park. So we had a bold skate and Dominic was living here. And, and we were also starting to skate these big wheel frames through the city just to go fast and feeling that they were so, res they were so much faster than skating on anti-rocker frames at this yeah. time. They were so fast, they were so responsive and then we, you know, we start experimenting and start grinding on some ledges, doing machios or something like this, and you feel that it slides. Um, and then it was really like, yeah, it would be amazing to have a full metal frame to skate, nice skate park, uh, to skate a bowl. The beginning was to skate a bowl, and also like working with Dominic. There's the skating in Europe is much different. There's much bigger parks. There's a lot more parks there's indoor parks that we didn't have in new york so um yeah this was a conversation also coming from curiosity uh just what it what would it be like if we had something um you know shrinking our wheels at this time down to 72s or 65s was the concept and yeah we we were talking about it talking about it talking about it didn't know how to make it uh rob g put me in touch with leon when he was making the first wizard mm -hmm. prototypes and I was trying them and Leon put me in touch with uh, his manufacturer that is that was making the that is making the wizard frames now so uh, so that's is the same this came place from. that makes your your frames now that makes wizard frames no oh that's just the beginning stuff yeah and these were made from one piece of metal this is actually like really crazy construction Sounds expensive. This is maybe 2000. <laughs> so this is around 2014. We were making these. And that's how long ago you started it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It was that long. Ago. Uh, so at this, the conversation, it was all of a, it was all a conversation with Dominic. And then we were sitting with Yo-Yo one night in Berlin. And actually he was just calling us out that we're, we're talking about doing something, but in skating that people never do it. And he was, he was calling you out, kind of. He was, he was <laughs> calling, calling you bluff. bluff. Yeah, and then we had, to, we had to make a handshake with Yo-Yo that we would that we would make them. So yeah, that wow. kind of was a a fire that that like a kick in the ass. Shout that, out Yo-Yo. Yeah, shout out <laughs> for real. Um, so what about the evolution of the frame? Because this is obviously different from what you have out now. Yeah. So this was a this was a kick in the ass to like make something. We were doing a lot, a lot of drawings and. And so on, and yeah, we had a we, we thought that it would be great to have this full metal frame. And at this at a similar time, I met Joe through Dominic, and we talked about what would the what's the correct size for your boot because we can we can pick all of this stuff. So Dominic has a, a smaller foot than I do. Joe has is uh, very similar to me. And like, what's the wheelbase? What's the spread between the wheels? How what kind of uh, radius would you like? And all of this, and then we I made all of the specifications, and we made them. And and at this time, the goal was to make three frames for ourselves that we could have to skate forever. And <laughs> that's it. That's like really selfish thing. So not to start a company. Yeah, no, not to start a company. Just if we have these frames, and we're happy. Mm -hmm. um, like they're not gonna break. They're gonna last forever. Yeah, 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 it's cool. I mean, Joe's Joe's skating the same pair of frames for several years. Um, that's crazy to think of. Yeah, that's with the middle age blocks. Or with the plastic age Yeah, blocks. this one. Oh, this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then, uh, actually, I don't know the date, but several years ago, the H block patent. Uh, I wanted to ask you about that. Yeah. That's How did you find out about that? Like, did a memo go out to like all these frame companies? I was searching on the internet, uh -huh. and then I contacted uh, Big Neil. It was Big from Neil Long from Long Island. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Um, he's a lawyer. Big Neil. So he, uh, <laughs> yeah. he like did an unofficial uh, confirmation of what I was looking at, and then I cut this out because this this frame was great to skate in a park, but 
with a metal edge block, it can be very difficult to skate. Uh, to skate straight. Ledges, concrete. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I so, you just, but just by chance, you got lucky and happened to just stumble upon yeah, the age block. Yeah, like, thing. And then, it's like, yeah, this is cool. Okay. Uh, and then there were more people, like, seeing some pictures of Joe and being interested and sending me a lot of, like, messages on, on Instagram. I wasn't advertising anything, but people figured it out. Um, it's like, yeah, I, don't, I guess, I guess we should try this. Um, and then it also, where, where it really made sense to start a company was working with AJ because I had no idea about distribution or sales or, or <clears throat> any of this kind of stuff. I can figure out product development. I can make something that's, uh, that's really performance focused and works, but I have no idea how to sell it. And AJ- You're talking like marketing and stuff like that or distribution uh, too? Distribution. Straight distribution. Yeah, and, and understanding business. I have no idea about these things. Mm. Or I didn't. <laughs> and, and AJ's been in this business forever. Right, right. Long time. Um, and he understands it. So working with him, <laughs> or having already been working with him, then it made, it made sense at a certain point that we, that we give it a shot. And we developed these frames to, with the H block, uh, the removable H block and launched it on January 1st this year. Mm -hmm. So that that's like a that's like a short. Yeah, it's only been a few months. Yeah. Yeah. yeah nine Is months. everything good so far? Like feedback and everything, but these frames because they they were very different when they came out. You know, yeah. were you skeptical about it? like oh you don't think these are gonna sell or you think they're gonna do really well because they're different? It would go slow. Mm -hmm. um, it's something very different. The price point is much higher because it yeah, costs exactly. much more to manufacture this than an injection molded frame. <clears throat> Um, I think I've been very fortunate that Joe's skating them and he's winning. Yeah, you got a good guy behind them. Nearly every <laughs> Definitely. competition yeah. that he goes to. <laughs> <laughs> and if, you, if you're at Winter Clash and you see yeah. Dominic skating, it's Not totally. one of the most Dominic beautiful Joe's things in yeah. the world. Yeah. How did you get Joe on them? Because at Dominic, you obviously skated together in like New York and stuff. How did Joe end up start skating them? We met in Berlin through Dominic. They were they knew each other, I guess, from fees and from the Kayan project. And he just said, yeah, you, sh you should meet Joe. And at this time, I, I had just moved to, I had moved to Switzerland. Um, it's like, f yeah, four years ago. Mm. So right place, right time, right people. And you were just like, um, hey, you want to try these out? Yeah, it was, Joe was interested to try something like this. And we just, we just made them. And he's, he's stoked to ride them. Yeah, he's killing it, dude. Yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> he's pretty good. 